The, the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 27. Mike 52. Mike 52. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Fakes to the back. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. The 49, 49, 49. Where's 52? Watch 52. Go ahead, two. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, False start. Offense. offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Nailed and it's intercepted. He's taken down around the 34 yard line. Boy, this defense makes it look so easy. Clearly, there was a breakdown in the blocking scheme, and when that happens, it's so much tougher to make a good throw. First and 10, ball on the 34 yard line. He stopped reading. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. Has some daylight. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he tacks on the extra point. A four play, 34 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, seven nothing. Duke gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Duke's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Motion, motion, motion. Lock down around the 37-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. And they push him out at the 45. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Oh, 
takes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Red two. Blue four. He fights forward to about the 40. up a screen tailbacks got it and he's tackled right around the 30. number 91 on the tackle at the 30 yard line. we've got a first and 10. ball on the 30 yard line and he tackles him hard at the 32 yard line the defense were playing run all the way right there and it paid off for him and this is the eighth play of the drive Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Third down again. That'll make it 35. Today, nine, green, nine. Green, 15. He lets it go. And he snags that one. He's out of bounds at the seven. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Four down, four down. My 52, my 52. Red two, green 15. It's on the ground. The defense scoops it. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Duke is up seven. Caught and up for the first down. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 28 yard line. Seven yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. That's a great tackle to the 38 yard line. yards away here on second down. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down right around the four. Duke up seven points. Now 
Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they make the stop at the 32. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He wants it all going long. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, 7 nothing, Blue Devils. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. You don't know no better. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. They go to the ground and he stops short. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Duke is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. So we've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down to the 19 yard line. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wide out, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Oklahoma! Tackle after a decent pickup. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 14-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When the running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When the running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24. Red, two, yellow, three. Motion, motion, motion. Yellow. Red. He's got it out to his tight end. He's still moving. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 44. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Oh, 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 oh. 
He fights forward to about the 46. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Get to that quickly, and he's immediately tackled. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. New Mike 52. Mike They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Nice gain as he works the right side. And this play is number eight on the drive. The 10, incomplete pass. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. So we're just about ready to return to action. Flares it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. Brought down at the 29. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Now he's scrambling. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. his way to about the 48. A nice third down conversion there. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 48. He's got his half back. And he's tackled at midfield. And he is drilled at the 42. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Well, we've played a half of football. Duke's got a 10-point lead.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense that defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. You got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I, I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. He's got an opening. He makes his way to about the 42. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. They come out in a five wide set. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Throws it deep. And down he goes. At the 25. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you're a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number 10 was the intended receiver. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number 14. Here's the eighth play of the series. That brings us to the 10. He's looking for six. Touchdown, Duke. Yeah. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And he hits the PAT. Nice eight play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 20 to three. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Dog four. X go. And he just gets rid of it. And 
this one's broken up. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Oh, excellent put. He's tackled at the 36. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Throws this one off balance. And he's tackled right away. Wants it all. It's picked off. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Gets out to about the 21. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 21. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires that tackle at about the 25-yard line. And this one is a beauty. Taken down the 39 yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Throws incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on the 39. 33. Come on, baby. I'm coming, baby. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Excellent pass defense. He's got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. He's wrapped up for the sack. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. That's a great tackle at the 23. Well, that time, the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz, and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He chucks it downfield. Complete. It's the junior. And they finally push him out at the 37. That makes it first and 10.
now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Black five, black five, six. Open man, quick strike, and he can't put it in. Job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Red two, kill, kill, kill. Yellow, three, three, three. And he's level at the 48. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And he's taken down right around the 20. yard line. First down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. So at the end of three, the Blue Devils in front, 20 to three. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. That's what I do. Corner on the interception. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. Check four, check four. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Green on the heart. Look to his receiver, first down. With the reception. Game of 13 on the play. First down. Four down, four down. Where's 52? Black 52. 52 is the mic. Caught out of the open. And 
and he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. Number five on the tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. That makes it second and 10. Tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Four down, four down. 52 is the mic. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Run, run, run. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. for the first and they don't get it and that was a big stop defensively yeah they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive great job by the defense to shut them down both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop and he's tackled around the 25 yard line that, that makes, makes it second and 14. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Check down at the 39. Complete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number 10, the Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's into the open field. Less than three minutes in the game. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Huskies thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. Pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 49-yard line, second down. No, 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 check that, check that. We want Mike Red two. Looks for his running back, incomplete.
He's going to air it long. Fires over the middle. Touchdown. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field at that speed. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They'll bring him down at the 37. They're ready to begin another drive. Just under two to go in the game. The Huskies taking their first time out of the half. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 35. Connecticut will have one timeout remaining. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. He's on the run. And it carries the ball for a nice game. About five yards in the quarterback keeper. The Huskies using their third and last timeout. And they get nice yardage on that run. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. might be the deciding factor in this football game. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 36-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. The score now, 27-10. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Just over a minute left. Complete knocked away. Red two. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Loose football. It's recovered. Tackle around the 50 yard line. Squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 48. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team.
The Huskies, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to quit behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.